Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. <laughs> we are Evan and Bronte with Ride at Roots Farm. This week we had a lot going on. Um, if you're new here, we raised, pasture raised chicken and we just started shipping nationwide. Follow along because here in the next couple of months we're gonna have bison, we're gonna have beef, we're gonna have pork, and then eventually, once I get some fencing out here, we're gonna have sheep, lamb. We're gonna keep adding all the proteins as they be become available. We got these three little piggies here we're kinda do a test run on, and that was one of the jobs, big projects this week, is I've gotten a really good start on finishing the bigger pin for them that has more vegetation, more foliage, better shade, just a lot more space. It's like 10 times the space they're in now. So I got a good start on that. Shipped out our first order. First, first orders. First several orders, yeah. 11 or 12. Which was really exciting. I learned how to drive a tractor. Oh yeah, you learn how to drive a tractor. So we will get into it. Thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out with us. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to our channel. Yes. It helps so much. We appreciate each and every one of you that Please are here. Please subscribe if we you're watching you guys. this. It really will help us. And it doesn't cost you a dime to subscribe. So. Doesn't cost you a dime. Okay. So today we're gonna do something a little different. Usually Bronte's inside the schooners moving the chickens forward. Today what we're gonna do is switch roles. So I'm gonna go in there, she's gonna drive the tractor. She's never driven a tractor before, so I gotta teach her real quick. So tune in real quick, watch us. <laughs> I'm gonna give her just like a two minute lesson, what to do, what the levers do, all that stuff. We're gonna get this fired up and we're gonna go. Wish us luck because we're gonna need it. I hope that I don't get stabbed by a forklift spear um, or run over or Bronte doesn't end up run over or um, or worse the worst something happens to my tractor all right hop up there should put that in there so this is the clutch this is the clutch oh god okay so it's a stick shift oh no I don't know how to drive a stick shift well you don't have to do anything um, really so that's neutral you don't have to shift the gears okay, okay? you leave it in first don't don't even touch that. This is what lifts the the back. So you have to do that once we start it to get it off the ground. You don't want that on the ground whenever you're backing up. Okay, so, so I you lift, lift it that. all the way back to eight. Yeah, you can lift it all the way to eight, and then you bring this down to bring that up. It's reverse. Okay. It's why invert. do I have to bring that up? Otherwise, you drag. Oh. And you won't go very far, and it'll mess up the okay, tractor. Okay, so I lift this, I bring this up, lift, lift this that up. up. Okay. Okay. You have two two accelerators on here, two throttles. You have a hand throttle, don't touch that. Okay. You have a foot throttle, it's a gas pedal. This is a brake. The brake doesn't work unless you press in the clutch. So you want your foot on the clutch at all times, but you don't want to be pressing or riding the clutch because it'll burn out the clutch. Okay. Okay. So, what you do is press the clutch in. So you have to wait till that light goes off. It goes pretty quick here. Okay. Now push in the clutch. And then you put it, it's a shuttle shift. So you're already in first gear, which is good. Lift up your, your blade. Okay, that's up. Bring that down a little. No, that's down. Bring it up there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's easy movements on a tractor. Don't yeah me, because you've never driven a tractor and you can kill yourself for me. Okay. So you bring this into reverse. Now practice easing off that clutch because it's gonna go as soon as you ease off. And watch your steering. Watch your steering because little movements on a tractor is what does stuff. Little movements. That's it. Now whenever you stop it, push in the clutch. When we're done, when I say we're done, push in the clutch, you bring that back to neutral. It, one thing I didn't tell you is it's the parking brakes on, see? So you gotta press in there, press in there, hard. Now the parking brakes off. The brake will not work unless you push in the clutch. Clutch is here. Push in the clutch, all the way, put it in reverse. Now when you let off that clutch, it's gonna go. So now practice going to forward. Now you're gonna go forward if you let off the quote. Okay? That's why you need the brake, because it'll just roll. The clutch disengages everything. 
everything. Ah! Okay, put it in neutral. There. Okay, you're gonna push in the clutch. You're good. Okay, let's go. Come on. Okay, push in the clutch. You're already, the brake's already off. Straighten your wheel. Push that little bit of motion. There you go. Little bit of movement goes a long way on a tractor. Now you put it in reverse. Keep the clutch in. Ease off that clutch. Ease off. Slow, yeah. There you go. Slow, slow. Let's go. A little bit. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Slow, slow. Come on. No way, baby. Whoa, whoa. That's it. Put it in neutral. Push. Okay, now put it forward. Put it in forward. All right. Well, so far, so good. We'll see how she drives. Keep going. Okay. Now, clutch and brake. Now put it in forward. Now slowly let off the clutch. Did I let off the brake first? No. You let off the clutch first. It kind of, it's simultaneous. You just kind of like flow. There. Now don't stab me. I'm gonna step to the side. It's so bad. Yeah, you gotta kind of use the clutch to yeah. control your speed. Okay, and then you just straighten it on, face it. Okay, keep coming slowly, 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 slowly. Clutch and brake all the way in. Clutch and brake. Put it in neutral. Put the brake on until it clicks in. You got the brake? Is the red light on? Yeah. Okay, that's all you gotta do for now. Oh my gosh. Here, hold the camera, hurry. Uh, if you went back, you did not get any slack. That's dangerous. Look how big they're getting on it. Like half the chickens got out. Just want everybody to see. So, I'm in the kitchen getting ready to go out and do the chores with Evan. He's still getting ready to get out of the house. No, Luca. Um, we have a problem that we need to figure out desperately. We eat a ton of eggs. I'm gonna show you guys. No, we're about to have no eggs. I'm gonna show you guys the amount of eggs that we have been getting per day. <laughs> and there's a tomato in there too. <laughs> We got two eggs yesterday and that's been like a common theme for the last um, few days. So we have been letting the chickens free range and they're not laying in their coop anymore. Only like one of them is. So we'll find like one egg in the coop. I cannot find where they're laying their eggs. I found actually one of these was from the coop and then yeah more cucumber and then the other I actually found under the porch and I had to like use a long stick and like halfway crawl under there to get the egg and um, that is not like something I want to do every day we like them free-ranging like I love watching them no, no, no we don't use knives you need to get off that chair you're not supposed to be on the you need to get down so we enjoy them free ranging because they're like on bug patrol, you know, all around the house. I do feel like I've seen less spiders and stuff outside, like on the porch and everything. And I love that. Um, but um, 14 
egg layers and two eggs per day is not gonna cut it. If you've never made plantains, like just on the, um, I use coconut oil. Oh my God, coconut oil is seriously to die for with, with fried plantains. Just doing medium to high heat. Like, you just wanna brown them on each side. I add a little salt and they are so good. How delicious do those look? Last week, Bronte mentioned on the video that, and I was talking about how one of these pigs might be a male. Well, the breeder finally responded after I followed up again a few weeks after my first message to him. He said, sometimes that just happens with the umbilical cord where it looks like it's a penis and it's not. So, so far we don't see any balls growing. So I'm pretty sure it's a female with just an Audi belly button. We are discussing where we're gonna pin up these chickens. We had them in poultry netting over here a while back. We started letting them free range and now we're not getting any eggs. Like they're laying them all over the place. We can't find them. The dogs are probably eating them, who knows. Their coop is right here, which their coop is hideous. This is gonna be one of our projects one day. All this stuff was obviously like, you know, what was here when we moved in. This property needs so much work. We need to tear this barn down. We need to do something different over here. I cannot stand it. But that is not today's project. We decided we're, go they have like this little door right here, you know, like a chicken door, a sliding door right there that opens from the inside. And then there's this door right here. We've been letting them out right here. And then they were like, we did have all of this netted. I don't know if you remember, but this grass is not that great right now because we just got done moving the schooners. The schooners were up here not too long ago. So we want to give that grass a rest. So we're going to put the poultry netting up right here and give them this area for now. Evan's going to mow. What I have here is poultry net, okay? Um, it's 48 inches tall, this is 100 foot of it. You can get them in 50 foot sections. I recommend the 50 foot sections because, I don't have my knife with me, go up. I recommend the 50 foot sections because they're easier to maneuver and carry. I really don't like this stuff that much because it's such a pain to move around. But it works, it does work, it helps. I don't really, and I especially don't like this 48 inch because it's just too tall. This will keep it keep us from losing all these eggs. So we got the netting up. It took us like 10 minutes, not a big deal. They've got a pretty large space. We're gonna let them out, see how pissed off they are. <laughs> Here they come. Here they go. Oh, poor Vanilla. She's gonna be the most hurt. Vanilla likes to explore. This again? Thought we'd done away with this. <laughs> I don't like that tall stuff. Look, is she gonna get in? Look, babe, she wants to be with them. I know. She can get in. Oh. So in case you're wondering, we keep Penelope's food up here because she she sleeps up here most of the time. That's kind of her hangout spot. Look at that. She wants to be with the hens. Anyways, we keep her food up there because it has more, her food is different. She needs more protein than the chickens do and we don't want the chickens eating her food because they have their own and they don't need it. So we leave it up there for her to go enjoy by herself. Working on a rail.
So this route that we've chosen this time has so many gaps, like holes in the dirt. So the chickens get out every time we move because we have to move the wood. They're freaking everywhere. They're all on the other side too. Oh, there's more over here. Just want to show you guys how many got out because it's crazy. We're used to like a few. They're just having a field day. So we have to roll them up, corral them up. Gotta be adjusted. Yeah. All right, that's done. Okay, get these buckets and close that. 